Hello everyone and welcome to race number 8 on the Mountain View Custom Series season here at the new Brunswick Motor Speedway. Speedway 660 up here in Canada, the first international race for the MDCS. Nathan Orman, the short track ace here, he starts on pole alongside him, Stephen Taylor. These two tied on the front row for the pole. Nathan Orman and his points give them the tiebreaker spot. Further back, behind them, Marcus, Marcus Yepes is 77 which is not his anymore. It is Alex Minyankos this weekend. Alongside him, Dusty Neal. The starting grid will roll, roll all across your screen now because the pace laps are not that long, but it will be an exciting 38 laps up here in Canada. Who's going to be able to win at the shortest track on the schedule? It only takes about 12 seconds to get around this track. Only a quarter mile. Who will win? Let's see. The Canadian National Anthem has just ended. Let's go ahead down for the commands to fire the engines in Canada. Drivers, start your engines. 28 cars roll to life. Only 28 can fit at this track. The pit road is not long enough to fit more than that. So you see 28 drivers, Ormond and Steven Taylor on row one. Who will win today? here in the first international race of the NSDCA. It's a Canadian doubleheader weekend with the trucks heading to Mossport. Green flag is out here at Speedway 660. And it's going to be Nathan Ormond taking the early lead, and he's going to try to hang on here at New Brunswick. Now, he will clear into the lead. Let's go ahead and start getting that starting grid rolling across your screen. Nathan Ormond out in front. Trying to hang on over Steven Taylor. This is a very, very sh quick short track. It's not going to take long to get around this track for 38 laps, so you're going to have to move up very quickly. Logan Cloud already to the inside of Dusty Neal. That's for that fourth position. In third is Alex Benyanko in his first run for the 77 Monster Energy team. He is now going to move himself into second after he had to race his way into the show. Now, Logan Cloud, he's going to move himself into third. Look at Gatlin Downey in that eight car. The Wendy's number eight trying to make some moves. This track is very fast, but also very slick. You see Cloud, a lot of drivers going up the track. Cloud now in third. He's still looking for his first career win in, in the NSDCA. Can it come today? He is one of the drivers fighting for a championship. 30 points. He's 10th tenth in, uh, tenth in the standings, 30 points back from the tie between Nicholas Wade and Tim Foster. He's right now very far ahead of Tim, a uh, few spots ahead of Tim, not very far, but Nicholas Wade pretty far back, about 16th or 17th in the field, and now Cloud making a move for second. But as they run out in front, Nathan Orman pulling away in that Adidas number 93. Already eight laps through the event. We only have 30 to go at New Brunswick, and Nathan Orman is putting on a show right now. Out in front, back in second, Alex Benyanko in his first start. That 77 team is now just searching for drivers to finish off the season. DJ Gibson was announced earlier this week that a new paint scheme and a new driver. It is DJ Curtis, not DJ Gibson, my apologies there, that will be piloting this number 77 for a full-time stint for his rookie year next season in this series. Dustin Neal, sixth. There is seventh. Seventh position, the 95 of Austin Delgado. He goes off spins and up into the fence. He's out. Nicholas Wade collected with him. And there they go. Wade has some heavy damage. That's going to be a caution. He pulls himself down pit road. Casey Mears was also back there, and that will be our first caution. But Wade destroys the car, and so does Austin Delgado. Delgado was seventh for FAR, just loses grip, flies right into the wall. So. We'll go ahead, rack them, stack them back up for a uh, restart here. And we'll see if anyone will be able to jump Nathan Ormond. An exciting first 10 laps, but now we are under caution. Let's go ahead and get a quick replay. What happened there to that 95 team? So we're going to go on the front bumper of the 95 car. He's just going to get down into turn one, and you see he's pretty high up, and he just loses grip going through the corner, up over the banking, and then Nicholas Wade runs right into him. So heavy contact there. Wade... That will cost him his points lead, as you see he ducks down pit road right there. So the 42 car probably out of this race. Go ahead and get you guys back uh, to the green flag here at Speedway 660. Coming back to take the green flag here, Nathan Ormond leads with 
Uh, Alex Benyanko in second. Steven Taylor third. Logan Cloud fourth. Downey fifth. Neil Gibson. Bright. Camden Luca and Luke Rainey, your top 10. Logan Cloud looking to put himself back into the point swing. Eli Bright as well as up here. DJ Gibson as well as up here. They stack it up coming through the corner. And green flag is back out. Orman leads us down. Let's get a flyby as they head down into turn one. Stacking up and spreading out. It's a very short track, and for these bulky cars, it's hard to get a good restart between them. And now you see Dusty Neal making the move. Now on Logan Cloud all over the back bumper of his owner. And Neal will move Logan up the track with some force. But now Nathan Orman pulling away in that 93 car. Right now, he is your race leader. Can he hold on for his second win of the season? McReynolds Family Racing has traded Ormond off to Jones Racing Inc. for the next season, which could have been a mistake. Two-time winner this season could be uh, this 93 team if he could just hang on. But don't count out the 77. Marcus Yepes drove this car horribly the beginning of the season. The first race with a new driver in it last week at Texas. Um, Austin Johnson went home with the win. Now Alex Benyako, he is in that second position. Can he do it? and try to win this race for Monster Motorsports. Logan Cloud back there in fifth. I don't think Logan is caring much about a win right now. He just wants to not lose a lot of spots. Three wide now, Eli Bright almost takes him out. You see Eli there fighting uh, the other car. He has caution, is back out, and there's a car. Nicholas Wade once again off the track. Steven Taylor might have had a piece of it there, but now Nicholas Wade for the second time, and he parks it up on the hill. So heartbreak there for Nicholas Wade. Looks like that'll end his day and definitely his chance at leading the points lead coming out of this race. We'll go ahead and get another replay of what happened during this caution. And uh, we'll get you guys back to the green flag after this. So here's Wade. He is sitting there. He's one lap down and uh, Austin Delgado goes very wide. But it looks like Wade, he just does the same thing Kev or uh, Austin did. He goes up into that outside wall in turn one. Steven Taylor almost hits him, but... Just gets stalled up there, so uh, that's going to be heartbreak for that team who was having high hopes at a championship and taking the points lead out of this race. Well, we'll have to see what will go on after this with only four races to go after this race before the champion is crowned. We'll get you guys back to the green flag here in Canada. So as the pace car comes around, I believe we will be getting the one to go here. The lights do go out on the pace car. Nathan Orman leads Austin or er, uh, Alex Benyako second. Dusty Neal third. Steven Taylor fourth, and Logan Cloud fifth. Eli Bright sixth. Luke Rainey seventh. Gatlin Downey eighth. DJ Gibson ninth. Camden Lucas staying strong in tenth. Foster eleventh. Bradley twelfth. Rogers thirteenth. Eves fourteenth. Yo fifteenth. Sixteenth Jackson. Seventeenth Fitzwater. Eighteenth McCall. Nineteenth Galloway. And twentieth Sam Picard coming around. We'll go ahead. And take the spectator cam here. A bit of a better camera angle. The pace car ducks down to its uh, sitting spot. Coming around. Green flag is back out. Norman leads us back around. And now Ben Yako. He's really going to have to try. Norman has such great restarts. But he is very high. He was very high, I should say, on the track. And now that's going to bring Alex Ben Yako into that second. In, well, he is in that second position. Right up to him. Dusty Neal. Back there in third. Ormond is driving this track expertly. He grew up racing short tracks. This one, I guess, is no different. A lot of local tracks look like this. Very little walls and very slow corners. And right now, Ormond trying to hang on. Logan Cloud now moving around Steven Taylor for fourth. Can Logan put himself back in the championship hunt with this? 30 points back is almost a race. Uh, almost a race back. But right now, he is the highest running driver out of the top 10 in points. And now... Ben Yako gets sent wide, Cloud to the inside, Neil on the outside, Nicholas Wade is back out on track and he's back in the grass again. What the heck is going on with Nicholas Wade? He needs to be parked. And now he's going to take out the 77 of Ben Yako. Ben Yako tried to get to the inside of him and he spins off of him. Now Nathan Ormond, he will come back around. We will be back under caution, most likely will be almost a two lap dash, but... Now, Nicholas Wade in his third crash. Tyler McCall also on pit road. What are we looking at here? Alexander Rowe and Tyler McCall both on pit road. But Nicholas Wade takes out yet another driver. His third incident of the day. That might end up being penalties for that driver. There's Tyler McCall getting back around. He sits fourth in points, only 11 back. But this race is really going to shake up the point standings. Nathan Ormond out in front. 
Let's go ahead and get a replay of what happened to Roe McCall and again at Wade and Benyako. So looking here at Tyler McCall, he's going to get just pushed up by Jake Galloway. This is a bit further back in uh, the pack. And he just gets pushed up through that corner, loses it in that corner, hits the outside wall like that, kind of jumps off ramps into the pit road at exit, and some heavy damage to the 19 car. So he will be uh, taking that car down pit road. That's why he went down for uh, repairs. Let's go ahead and get another angle on what Alexander Rowe did. So Wade was just sitting back there one lap down. He drives it back into the corner, and he's just going to lose it again. So there has been no grip for that 42 today. Up the banking he goes. Now this is where the incident starts. He comes off the banking. There is Vignaco trying to get around him. And Vignaco dives it on in, gets right into Wade, and they both go spinning. So that takes the 77 out of contention for this win. Nicholas Wade uh, getting not, not getting very many allies out there today here in Canada. Let's go ahead and get you guys back to the green flag for most likely the final restart of the race. So the lights on the pace car should go out this time by Nathan Ormond is in your race lead. In second is Dusty Neal. Neal looking for his first career win, but behind him is also Logan Cloud, one of the drivers fighting for a championship here. The highest driving, highest running driver in the championship hunt right now. He's back there in third. Steven Taylor up to fourth. And fifth is Luke Rainey. Sixth, Eli Bright. Seventh, DJ Gibson. Eighth is up to Matthew Eves. Ninth, Gatlin Downey. And tenth, Jake Rogers. Lights on the pace car do go out. And it is Nathan Orman's time to shine. Can he win start to finish? The restarts have been terrible for everyone else. Orman has gotten off great for that starting position. So they're going to have two laps to decide this race. Who will win today at Speedway 660? They come around for the final time coming out of turn number four coming down the front straightaway Orman leads green flag back in the air at Speedway 660 Neil gets in he slides it Logan Cloud is off and spins it into the wall and that I think will be the end Nathan Ormond winning I believe we are under caution yes Ormond wins at Speedway 660 Logan Cloud still gonna come home seventh so I think there might have been another pile up further back there yeah, all these guys kind of got slowed down, so a wacky finish to this race. It will be Nathan Orman picking up his second career win of the season right there in that 93 car. Coming around, it will be Nathan Ormond winning at Speedway 660. Dusty Neal takes home second, Steven Taylor third, Luke Rainey fourth, Eli Bright fifth, sixth Gibson, seventh Cloud, eighth Eves, ninth Gatlin Downey, and tenth will be Jake Rogers. So, well... Big short track racing, the first time at a short track here, and it's a slick track. A lot of cars went off, and they will pull on to pit road. Nathan Ormond is your race winner. So congratulations to him, his second career win of the season, and that will be it. So finishing results up on your screen. Dusty Neal comes home a close second. Tit Logan Cloud, he drove it hard on that restart. And it will fail him if I can get a camera angle. I guess that's a camera angle. But Cloud drove a little too hard on the restart. Still will come home in the seventh position. So not losing a lot of points there. He'll still be gaining on that points lead. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this race here in Canada. We'll see you guys tomorrow for the race at Mossport in the Crown Royal Truck Series Chase for the championship. See you guys next time.